fact is that actually I don't know whether I can do it. When I was doing uh, Dhoom 3, when I start out, I don't know whether I can look like a gymnast or what I have in mind. Will I be able to achieve that or not? I don't know. He said, I'm definitely doing the film. I, I love the script. He said, but it will take me one year to, to make my body. He said, why do you need a year to get ready? Uh, so I said, this is not how a gymnast looks. And which is when I started looking for trainers who would be right. And I was really keen to get someone who is a gymnast himself or herself. And, and that's why my search led to you. When Amir asked me to train him for Doom 3, he said he wanted a really acrobatic body. That he didn't just want to get big and bulky, but that he wanted to really look and feel like a professional acrobat. And I knew that for him to look and feel like an acrobat, I had to teach him to move like one. The film is a uh, is a heist film. It's got action, but the character is, is very important because he has a day job, and his day job is that of a circus artist. Even when I walk into a scene, you see a, a, a person who's who does uh, aerial stuff. His body language is slightly different. You know, the way he moves, yeah. the way he carries himself, or the way he sits or stands or moves will will change. That kind of physicality is what will inform the action of the film and not vice versa. So we needed to create the character and with the creation of the character comes the body. 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, The, the body of an athlete is always different from the body of, of a power lifter or the bodybuilder. We're not going to the butcher to, to cut the body and serve it to the audience in, in certain pieces, which is, which is unfortunately the way that uh, the notion of beauty in film has, has come to play. I think when he reached out to you, I think that is where it, it became clear to us that this is the right way to go. Four. And that's a set. <laughs> what, what, what I really liked about your training, um, Dave, was that you, every day you surprised me. I was, you know, because it's very, it, it was a very different style of training from Vajni. Because you were training me to be a gymnast and also look like a gymnast. And then I was also much more ambitious and I said that now that you're training me, let me try and learn the unicycle, let me try and learn juggling, let me try and learn that ring thing you used to do, what is it called? Yeah. Rusia. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure you must be telling your friends very proudly about the colourful names I used to call you. Two more. climbing Mount Everest, you know, you feel it's too yeah. far, I'm never going to make it. But what you can do is that right now I have to take this step. Right now I have to take this step. Just put one foot ahead of the other. Believe that it will happen. Just believe in it and do what you're supposed to be doing now. And then after some time when you look up you realize, hey, wait a minute, it's not that far anymore. I worked Amir really hard for those two years. The physical transformation was just awesome. But the real moment when I realized we had succeeded is when we were at Lingdum Monastery up in the Himalayas and Amir was playing soccer with these monk children and suddenly he goes, hey, somebody asked the cook in the kitchen if they have some potatoes or onions. And the next thing you know, Amir is peeling these onions by hand and juggling for the kids and teaching them how to juggle. And I was just so stoked because becoming an acrobat and True fitness, in my opinion, is about how the work you do in the gym becomes a part of your daily life and how it changes the way that you see and interact with the world around you.
there's something that Amir once said, but he said, you know, at one point of time, I want to be the fittest that I can be. Anybody can make that commitment to themselves. Can I be the best shape that I can be this year? And if you commit to it, I think you will be surprised by what it brings you. Hey everybody, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, let me help you with your fitness and diet goals. Hit that join button or the link in the description below to check out our membership options. Get access to Amir Khan's exact workouts and diet, as well as his private training and interview clips. We've also got VIP videos, tons of resources for fitness and weight loss, members only masterclasses, and much more. So pick the program that's right for you and let's get started. I'm David Posnick with Posnick Training. We'll see you soon. Uh, Dave is someone who always keeps the workout exciting, new, fresh, with new challenges, which is what keeps you, you know, excited about it. So Dave, I, I wish you all the very best on this journey. And, uh, you know, I wish all the guys who are training with you all the very best.